verification is okay. So you've been chosen for verification. Verification just means we need more information from you to process your financial aid. It doesn't mean you did anything wrong. Sometimes paperwork gets complicated. I can understand that, but where do I start? During verification, we are simply making sure everything is accurate so that you receive all the financial aid you are qualified to receive. We want to help make college affordable for you. So take a deep breath and dive into verification. The first thing to know is that you'll find critical information about verification, financial aid, and lots of other stuff in your student self-service account. Check that and your college email regularly. Next, you'll complete a verification worksheet. Your answers on this worksheet will tell us what documents need to be submitted. Are you starting to feel like you need a life raft? No worries, let's talk about some of those documents and where you can find them. Most students need to submit a W-2 and an income tax return. A W-2 is what you get from your employer annually that shows your wages and taxes. If you had more than one job in the year, you'll need to provide a W-2 for each job. An income tax return is your annual report to the IRS with your income, taxes paid, and other relevant information. If you don't have an income tax return, you'll submit a verification of non-filing to show you didn't file taxes for the year. If you don't have your tax returns handy, visit irs.gov. You can request a tax return transcript. It's free and easy. If you didn't file taxes, you can request your wage and income statement. Wondering how you'll stay afloat? Check the to-do list in your student self-service or contact your financial aid office. Remember that we have the lowest tuition in the state. Completing the verification process can make college even more affordable. You've got this. Verification tips. Remember, verification isn't scary. It's one way we can make sure you're getting the financial aid that's right for you. I'm doing the verification worksheet now. I don't want to mess this up. What should I know? Great question. Here's some tips on how to avoid errors or delays in verification. Complete the form yourself. The verification worksheet asks questions about the student's situation. That's you. If a parent or anyone else does the worksheet for you, they may answer the questions differently than you would. We suggest you fill out the worksheet first. You can send documents to us later. Your to-do list will guide you through which documents are needed. If you're pregnant or expecting a child, it will impact your aid. Include that child on the first page of the form if you will provide at least 50% of their financial support. The verification worksheet determines what information we need based on your answers to each question. Read over the question and your answers carefully before you submit. You may not be able to go back and make changes. Some students run into a speed bump with their parent's signature. When you list your parent on your worksheet, their name needs to match up with the signatures they provide. For example, if your mom goes by her middle name, Carol, and that's how you list her on the worksheet. If she signs the document using her first name, Sandy, it may look like a different person to us. Finally, make sure to check the to-do list in your student portal. We will use this to communicate or send requests about your financial aid. Don't stress over verification. Remember that we're here for you. Contact the financial aid office if you need help. You've got this. Are you dependent or independent? Hey students, we're here to talk more about verification and answer your questions. What's on your mind? You're not alone. For many students, determining their family structure can be confusing. And we found that sometimes requires additional information provided through the verification process. Determining your dependency status matters because it helps determine how much aid you may qualify for. 
The verification worksheet will help clarify any questions of dependency. There are questions for less common student situations to help determine dependency status for students who are less than 24 years old. Next, there are questions regarding your parents and the members of their household. We know this part can be very confusing, especially if your parents are divorced and then married other people. The worksheet explains who should be listed as a household member, and many students say it helps them figure out who should be included. If the worksheet determines that you're a dependent student, you'll receive an email that guides you through obtaining your parent's signature. This document tells us your parent has read the information on your verification and confirms that it's correct. Still need help? No problem. Contact the financial aid office for assistance. Tax filing and verification. Students have lots of questions about verification and where to get important documents. What can we help you with today? We understand. Most people file and forget when it comes to taxes. Delays on verification usually come from guessing about tax filing. So we suggest that you visit irs.gov and grab your tax return transcript for free. This is the easiest way to get all the information you need for this form. Double check the verification worksheet before you upload. You want to make sure you have the right tax year. If you have your federal tax return, IRS 1040, you can upload that instead. Just be sure that you have signed and dated it in the sign here line and make sure to include schedules one, two, and three if those were filed. Many students don't file taxes, but still have earnings. That's no problem. You'll see the needed form for that situation in your to-do list. As always, answer the worksheet questions honestly and thoroughly, and then keep an eye on your to-do list for any additional documentation we need. Remember that verification helps match you to the financial aid that you need. Don't let verification hold you back. Financial aid is here to help you achieve your dreams.